Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my lipstick declutter. I know people don't like it when, you know, it's not us on camera and it's just the product. But with this case, it's going to be a lot easier instead of trying to bring the lipstick into focus and bring it back out and waiting for it to focus or whatever. And there are three baskets. I may have to split this up into two separate videos. So I don't know how long it's going to be, but let's declutter. So let's do it. So I had three baskets of lippies, lip gloss, lipsticks, whatever, and I thought that instead of trying to do swatches on myself, my arm, and then wiping it off and back and stuff, I thought it'd be easier to just kind of organize everything. So here we go. The first two are the BH Cosmetics Cream Luxe Lipsticks. These were really inexpensive. I have Tea Time and Charmed here, both really pretty colors. I do have to touch it up for sure, you know, throughout the day, but I'm gonna keep those because they are new and I actually do like those. The next two are the Rimmel. One is Moisture Renew, Nude Delight, and then Paradise. This is the Nude Delight, and then that's the Paradise. This one is almost a little too light. I have to darken it up just a little bit. So the new Delight, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one, but I'm going to keep the Paradise. It does smell like cherry soda, and I really, really like it. So one down, one go. The next two are L'Oreal. This first one is Ballerina Shoes. It's a really pretty light pink for sure, almost a little too light. Again, I have to darken it up a little bit with a lip liner or something, but I'm going to keep it. And then this is the Charming Coral. Color Reach L'Oreal Lip Balm. It does feel more like a lip balm or a chapstick than an actual lipstick, than an actual lipstick. But um, it's really nice. I love the color. Definitely a keeper. So out of those six, I got rid of one. Don't judge me. Okay, this is the Maybelline Baby Soft Lips. This is just basically a clear lip gloss just to give your lips a little shine. I do not like the formula. It's really sticky. My hair sticks in it. My lips dry out. I mean, my legs, my lips are just begging for my chapstick. They feel so bad. So definitely going to get rid of that for sure. These are my Maybelline Color Sensationals. The first one is Bare All 910. It literally, when I put it on, it looks like I have no lips, like my lips disappeared, butthole lips or whatever. Definitely getting rid of that one because it just doesn't work for me. This one is Nude Lust 920. It's a beautiful nude color. I like the formula of these Color Sensationals. I think they're pretty nice, so definitely going to keep Nude Lust. Then we have 705 Blushing Bud. This one is a really pretty dusty pink color. I really like it, keeping it. And then the last two, Pink Proper. Pink Proper and Coral Burst. Again, pretty pinks, a pretty coral, really nice, really pretty colors. The formula is not bad at all. I think I'll keep these both because, I mean, I love to wear that one in the summer for sure. So yeah, I'm gonna keep those. So I kept four of those and got rid of two. Yes, I'm winning. Okay, and then I have the NYX Butter Gloss in Vanilla Cream Pie. I don't really like this. I didn't like the NYX Aqua Gloss either. Um, this one is just a little too thin. It kind of just runs around my lips. It's not very, doesn't really stay there. So getting rid of it. This is the NYX Lip Butter Lipstick in Snack, heh, snack Shack. It's a really dark nude brown. Um, I'm not a fan of this color for sure. These are both new, but I'm just not a fan. I have to lighten it up a lot, so I'm going to keep it and just kind of give it a few more, you know, goes and stuff, but because it's new, but yeah. I like to I have to lighten that one up. And then this is Lolly's, and again, this one is so light. Like when I put it on, my lips basically just look so bizarre. So I'm going to get rid of this one. Like, I don't need that in my life. You know, like, no. So I'm going to keep two of those. No, I'm sorry. I'm getting rid of two of those. The first one on this one is the Makeup Forever N45 Rouge. This is the most beautiful red I've ever had. I'm getting rid of it because it is like... 
I mean, it was basically empty, but that is it right here. I use it on a get ready with me. It's my favorite, my most favorite red ever. I love it. It's just like a pink red. That's so perfect, but it's trash. These two are the J Cats. This is Princess and then Marguerite. I'm definitely going to be getting rid of Princess. It's basically no color. It's like this really sad, like little shimmer. Um, it just doesn't work for me. I don't have the right skin tone or something. But I will keep Margarita. It's a really pretty a darker pink and I really do like it. So the formula is not great, by the way. These were a dollar. Add a little chapstick and get over it. This is the Coastal Sense 01, again, a dark pink, really pretty, we'll keep it. Then we have the Milani Naturally Chic, I really like this, this is my only Milani lipstick, but it's a really pretty color and I really, really like it, Keeper. This is the e.l.f. Moisturizing Lipstick in Party in the Buff, honestly, this one I have the same problem with, you guys, it's just like, even when I use a darker, um, when I use a darker lip liner, it just, I mean, my lips just look so weird. So I'm getting rid of that. I'm not a fan of the color. And then this is the High Voltage French Kiss. I don't know what, when I'm shopping online, things just look so much darker. And then when I get it home, it just looks so weird. Like it looks like it's this really pretty, you know, darker pink. But when you get it on your lips, it's just a little too, mm, not liking it, getting rid of it. I know it's new too, that's sad. So I got rid of quite a few of those. Okay, these are my wet and wild lippies. Now these, uh, so some of these formulas are really nice. They're not too drying. I always wear a lip gloss or a chapstick, so I don't really worry too much about that. But the first one is the Nouveau Pink. It's a bright pink. I got this in like a little lipstick. I'm sorry, Nouveau Pink. I got this in a little lipstick nail polish. I'm going to keep it. It's a little too bright for my normal wear, but I always lighten it up with a little gloss, so I'll keep it. This is Breeze. It looks like it's really uh, darker here, but on my lips, again, uh, they just kind of fade into nothing. I have been darkening it up, but it's just, I'm ready to get rid of it, so out. And then this is 15 Minutes A Flame, super bright pink. I'm never going to wear this, so out. And then Ready To Swoon. It doesn't show here, but it's really a very nice um, kind of peachy coral. It's really pretty on. I wear it so often. I love putting a little lip gloss over it. I really, really like the color. And then last is the Sweet Peach again. I'm sorry, Sunset Peach. Again, another one of my favorites. It's like a perfect coral. Love it, love it. So, kept three of those and got rid of two. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to do my Max. Here we have uh, Patissiere, Blankety, Angel, Brave, Honey Love, and Hue. I love all of my MAC lipsticks. I love the way they all wear. They all feel. Those are gorgeous colors. Hue is the only one that's super light. It looks a lot darker in the pan, but it's super light. So I definitely have to um, use a darker liner, but I'm going to keep all of my masks, all of my MACs, so we don't even have to talk about those. Love them. And then this is the Revlon Magnolia. This one is the Revlon Ultra HD color in Magnolia. It's a really pretty color. The formula is really nice. Going to be keeping that one for sure. And then on the last ones on this page, these are all color workshops. I got these little lipsticks and like this little Christmas thing that my husband picked up for me. These top two. Um, there's no colors on these. They're just, you know, like this. So I'm going to be getting rid of that first lighter, brighter pink because I already have so many like that and the formula is just not there for me. But I will be keeping that darker one. I think it's really pretty. And then I'm going to be getting rid of these two. That's a really red orange or orangey red. Not a fan. And that's just a little too dark. So yeah, get rid of those. No, let's do these first. Okay, these are my ColourPop lippies. I will be keeping all of these. I have I have BFF, Contempo, Bound, O oh Snap, Cookie, and Frida. They are all the ColourPop lippy sticks, and I like them. Some of the formulas are a little more drying than others, but I will definitely be keeping those babies. Yes. 
And then next is the Color Workshop. Oh, these. Okay, these two little colors. Um, the, they're, that one's a little bright. There's no colors. This one's a little bright and that one's a little dark, but I actually can mute both of them. So I'm actually going to get rid of the pink one and keep the raisin colored one. Okay, the LAC Matte in In Love. Is this the right one? Yeah. In love, it's this one right here. Um, the formula is not too super drying, but it's really nicely. It's a really nice matte color. I will keep it, but I have one that's coming up that's similar that I'm going to get rid of. So I will keep this one. And then this is the true matte. Okay, and then we have Broadway in Sparkling Stone. It's a little bit kind of uh, more like stone for real color. Not a fan of this color or the formula, so I'm going to be getting rid of this one as well. Okay, and here is the e.l.f. matte lip color. Here's the e.l.f. matte lip color. It's kind of like a paler um, purple. It's really a weird color, and it doesn't go well with my teeth or my you know just my coloring so gonna get rid of that one and then this is the pacifica nude red this is actually a vegan one it's really really a great idea the concept and everything and it's a really pretty nude red color the thing is it is so drying you guys my, my lips are just crying screaming begging you know like 30 minutes after i apply this to give them something so tossing that then I have these Glam Beauty lip glosses. These actually came in a little kit that I, oops, sorry, for Christmas that I got. Um, they're really pretty colors. Uh, they're super kind of thick and sticky. They're, I mean, no, I'm going to have to toss them. I've only worn them a couple of times. I did give them a try as best I could, but definitely not a fan. Too sticky. My hair gets there. I mean, it's just like, mm, it's annoying as heck. And then I have my two Clinique sticks. This is the Whopping Watermelon and the Super Strawberry. These are actually like lip balms, very little color. I'm just keeping them to get rid of them at this point, but going to keep those. And then I have the Revlon Matte Lip Balm in Sultry. It is this color right here. Not a fan. Uh, the formula, I'm not a fan of it. It's like a peppermint kind of feeling and a scent and it is a little drying to me so tossing that one and then we have the Revlon Ultra HD matte this is actually a really pretty color it doesn't look too bad the formula isn't too bad but as it wears away I really really don't like it so I'm getting rid of that one and then we have the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipsticks in Miami Fever and Sao Paulo right here. Uh, Miami Fever is the Kathleen Lights on top. Not a fan of the color. And then the Sao Paulo is just a little too light. I won't repurchase those. And yeah, didn't really, wasn't really a fan. Getting rid of those. The NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipsticks in Baby Doll and Lace Detail. These are really similar in color, really pretty. The formula is not bad at all, definitely a keeper. And then I have this Ofra in Napa Valley. It's really pretty. I've never even used it. I literally just opened it to swatch it here. It's just a little too dark, not a fan of the color, so tossing it. And then this is the Bella Pierre in Antique Pink. I like the way this wears. The formula is really nice. The color's pretty, so definitely a keeper. And then these two Sephora lip glosses, um, they're very little color. Basically, they're just a lip gloss. I mean, with just a touch, a hint of peach and a hint of pink. I'm going to keep the pink one just for this summer and stuff, and I'm going to get rid of the peach one. And then I have the BH Cosmetics. Oops. BH Cosmetics in Supermodel and then in Studious. Um, both very nice, pretty thick, a little sticky at top. You gotta kinda bounce it off, but once you do, really nice. Gonna keep them because they're new. Oh no, I got it on my bed. And then my Chanel, uh, this is the 106. I'm going to be getting rid of this one just because it is time to get rid of it, but I do like this color. It's a nice pinky red with little glitters in it. Love it, but it's old. It's got to go. 
And then my Rimmel Stay Glosses, Unlimited Gold, Nonstop Glamour, Captivate Me, and Endless Summer. Love them all. Keeping them all. Yes. Then I have the NYX Lip Gloss in Tickled Pink and Bare. I like these. They smell like um, raspberry, and they wear really nicely. Going to keep those. This is the LA Colors Shine in Baby Cakes. I really like it. It does remind me of Turkish Delight a little bit, the way it kind of looks, especially when you line with a little bit darker. Definitely going to keep that. And then last are these little lip shimmer kisses. Um, they're kind of like lip tars. They're a little thick. The color is really nice. I mean, the colors come off really nice, but they're just a little thick, a little sticky for me, so tossing those. Okay, you guys, so I got rid of 32 lip glosses and lipsticks. I started out with three baskets, and 32 is a lot. So, yeah, I know. That's a lot, okay? I'm kind of I'll proud. I'll take that. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!